Oh, yes! And then straight was the bow in the face. Yes! Oh, it's still the same. It's fantastic. I love it. I don't know if this gives us experience to uh, scrap these, but we're certainly going to do it. Oh. How many arrows do we have? 31. Oh! Holy balls! Your mother of testicles! Greetings, guys and girls and fellow gamers. My name is games for cakes and welcome to 7 Days to Die Alpha 16. Yes! This is Alpha 16 B99. That's the version. It's the pre-test experimental build. Whatever you call it. I assume this is the build. Plus book fixes that you're gonna get in the experimental eventually. But this is really amazing. This is really exciting. Um, before we're gonna start, what we're gonna do is we're going to go through some of the additions in Alpha 16. Only really at a top glance. And then we're gonna start a new Let's Play to get right into it in Alpha 16. And hopefully it will carry over to the experimental. If not, we're gonna restart. It doesn't really matter. I'm really excited. I hope you guys are too. And you're gonna enjoy the episode. If you do, remember to kick that like button in the balls to support the channel and if you're new to the channel and you like what you see hit that subscribe button so let's get started now before we get into it let's really quickly go through the very very high level topics of some of the changes i have them over here because it's just too many i'm not gonna go through all of them or read all of them i'm gonna link it in the description below as soon as they're published on the forums the patch notes i'm gonna link them to you in the description below as i just said i think twice anyway so what they've done is they've added a lot of new locations about 30 new locations including skyscrapers and different saloons they've added the electricity which you all guys already heard about you saw joel's videos this is all gonna be in it so traps uh, batteries banks solar panels all that jazz is gonna be in it so it's gonna be fantastic to play around with that automated turrets oh man i can't wait they also updated the zombies so i don't think any more uma zombies are gonna be in it they're all handcrafted we have the wine guy back we have soldiers we have cowboy farmers we have strippers we have bikers it's absolutely fantastic um they also updated the way the gravel paths work that they're more logical and also that gravel will connect now to mining nodes so the, the way they've done the mining system changed a lot like the mining system but on a very high level basically when you start digging gravel you will get parts of the resources that are connected to that gravel path the node that's connected to the gravel path if that makes sense and they have moved a couple of things around as well like nitrate and all that but we're gonna get into that more in the streams now the streams are gonna be more where we play around with things you know spawn things in fly around the map hammer things see how they work and um, use the painting tools here it's a let's play we're going to actually progress together and we're gonna figure it all out together as well then obviously they added new animals like the vultures the wolves they have wolf packs now hordes of vultures it's gonna be absolutely fantastic i can't wait to die they have the painting system they have the experience and progression and skill bars the skill changes they all have changed now so you can't just like chain craft anymore to get experience it's not a thing anymore but again as i said i'm gonna leave it here with the with the short insight on some of the high level topics you can read it for yourself i think they're publishing the uh, the information soon or already have at the time you see it and i will have it in the description so without further ado let's get into our let's play we have already a map I literally just only spawned in to see where I am and to see what it looks like if I can actually handle it if the game is working properly and I played about four minutes <laughs> that's it so the the seat is touchies a16 instead of no touchies this is the options I'm gonna be using 18 I'm hoping uh, you can see here this is all the settings I'm not gonna go over them and I leave marked airdrops off because I kind of like the chase that you actually have to really hurry up trying to see it and go after it and if you lose it you lose it it's gonna be a surprise later one of the things that jumps out is the blood moon count at 24 enemies I, I could set it up higher but I think 24 is in the moment okay and that might actually be too high so maybe I should say 16 in the beginning um, I also left everything on warrior and normal because apparently now um, things there's a lot more zombies so POIs can have up to a hundred zombies apparently they give very little experience now so you can't be grinding experience on them anymore but there's gonna be a lot more of them anyway that is the settings that is the seed let's get into it and here we are welcome to the world of alpha 16 look at this beautiful distance rendering okay okay there's a bit a little, little bit of glitchy things going on there but we saw that in joel's videos as well now that that's fine it's a test build i don't really care <laughs> That's fine. So let's go up here and have a little look. You can see I actually didn't walk very far. I'm pretty much where I was. I didn't want to run into anything and die early. But the frames are holding up. I have everything set to absolute max. Okay, so if you look at my video settings, everything is up. Okay, so we might actually make it a little bit brighter here. Like about like I think, yeah, like that. So we're just going to make sure it's bright enough. There we go. So we can see. And look at this, beautiful. If we look at the frames here, you can see they're running at 59, 57, 63, 64. And this is all taxed up. Okay, here we're going down to about 40. So we might actually set the trees down. But I want to have it all on full just now to give you a good idea how 
much it has improved in performance because before I wasn't able to do that really, especially in the tree with the trees in the forest. And look at the long rendering, it's absolutely beautiful. I can't wait to come across the first houses. Anyway, so let's turn that off again and let's start. So what do we have? We start with the usual. Um, okay, they have new icons, I think, for all that. Let's see what we can actually craft. They also have a new weapon, a compound bow. I don't think if you can actually see already. No, you can't. So you can't actually see the recipe yet. That is interesting. So we have our quest here on the top right, which you can't see because my face is in the way. But the first quest now is the bedroll. So if we look actually at our quest system, you can see it. The first thing we have to do now is gather plant fiber, place bedrolls and craft bedrolls. They have also changed how blocks work. So as you actually hit blocks now, I think grass Grass blocks give you actually plant fiber. I don't know how long it takes. Oh, there's a bit of dirt. Or with the hoe or something, you get plant fiber. There's a lot of changes done to some of the blocks. But let's continue, first of all, getting some plant fiber. So they made the bed the very first thing that you're supposed to craft, which is actually quite nice. So let's craft that. Let's put it down. Oh, and shortcuts. Look at that. Let's cancel that. So if I go here, bread roll, boom, W. End of story. Favorited, S. Boom, used to it. Shortcut keys, absolutely fantastic. Really loving this idea of shortcut keys. Now, I don't know if you can actually rebind them. I'm not sure. Also, we're talking about shortcuts, full controller support. Um, Steam controller support, I'm just gonna double check. Dude. I'm not gonna lie to you. Um, they tested this. We added full gamepad controller support and tested for Xbox One, PS4, and Steam controllers. Unbelievably, absolutely fantastic. So they have done a really good job in trying to be compatible with that. Why do I have a land claim block? I didn't make this a multiplayer thing. Hang on a second. No, the time is standing still. This is not a multiplayer thing, so I don't know why I have a land claim block. But hey ho, okay. <laughs> That's fine. I don't mind. Maybe I did click multiplayer by accident. It doesn't matter. It's I don't care. <laughs> we just gotta make sure it's a single player next time. We we gotta lock in. So what else do we have to do? So now we have to place the bed roll, the bread roll. Here we go. Let's place it. Nice. Let's pick it up again. Sweet. Excellent stuff. Now, what is our next quest in line? Basic survival 2. Gather plant feathers. Gather small stones. Gather wood and make a stone axe. So I like that they actually give you the bed first this time. So let's see if we can find some stones around here. So the first episode you're going to see here, I'm not going to cut anything out. I'm just going to basically, well, I might cut out when I travel to somewhere or something. But basically, I want you to see everything from the start. I, lo I love the way actually everything goes a little bit blurry in the back, but it's not motion blur. I turned motion blur off. I can't stand motion blur in games. I know it makes it more realistic and a lot of people leave it on because it, is, it does replicate the realistic behavior of everything. But let's get some wood here. Look at the gravel paths. They look gorgeous. What do we get from here? Do we need a tool to do, to do, to get something out of it? Usually after about 10, you get something. There we go. Stone and sand. Interesting. No resources, though. Let's get some wood. There we go. Nice. We need one more wood, and then we can craft our first stone axe. There we go. Excellent. Stone axe. Craft favorite. Boom. Oh, I didn't favorite it. <laughs> because it resorted. There we go. Favorite that. Excellent stuff. Brilliant. Okay, so what do we have to do now? I'm gonna show you this here because I know my face is covered over there. So we have now the standard craft plant fiber shirt and to, okay, so more plant fibers, excellent stuff. So let's get some wood actually before anything else. Let's actually get rid of this tree. So we still get the same amount of wood. And also look at this, I'm already at level 25. So the new perk system, the way this seems to work apparently, is that you spend money on these, like toolsmithing. So you, uh, sorry, not money, uh, points, yeah? So you increase it by points. You cannot just now craft a hundred of them and just keep upgrading, keep upgrading, keep upgrading. So they want you to now save points through leveling up, through doing certain things. I think zombies give you experience and I think crafting blocks or upgrading blocks and fertilizing ground and, you know, working with tilled, uh, working, uh, tilling dirt, things like that. That gives you still experience, I'm not sure. But basically experience, as far as I know is now what gives you points only and you need to spend the points so now this here is obviously something that still levels up construction yeah but toolsmithing you can see here uh -uh, it's not a thing anymore so and the same with weapons you can't craft like non-stop weapons anymore yeah sorry I just wanted to find the information um 
what it says here about the crafting. Crafting skills are now perks with 10 buy buyable levels. Higher levels of crafting perks require a certain high player level. So you can't just keep buying. Like, you know, you have to be a certain player level, which is really good. You gain no experience from crafting. Ammo's, uh, ammo crafting skills are all merged into one skill. If it takes duct tape, leather, or iron, it's ammo crafting. A simple badana, however, is misc crafting. So that is very interesting. I really like that. Okay, I think we're gonna have to make a second stone axe. So we better get some stone actually as well after this tree is gone there we go lovely oh and, and we got actually two seats out of that that is lovely we only got 100 wood though but we're gonna get more resources the higher level we are which of course is the whole idea and do we get anything out of this here it's probably more productive if we don't yeah that that requires probably a shovel to be getting something more out of it now oh yeah i also have a female character now because i always played with a male character bird's nest yes oh yeah baby and um but i decided to play with a female character what do we get oh look at that we got a single potassium and a single nitrate oh nice and some lead so you get them shared now so you don't have to wait until the big bang when it's like through let's see actually what we get with the big bang okay we're nearly there Boom, what did we get? Oh, look at that. So in total, we got five, nine. That is good. So we get a little bit of everything, actually. That is really, really nice. I like that. Okay, let me finish this rock here. And we got to make another stone axe, I think. Yeah, absolutely. A hotkey for favorites would be nice. That you can basically just, as you open this, you can just use the keyboard purely to select and craft. And oh, man, that, that would be awesome. That would be so awesome. Okay, so let's craft this. Oh, I love this. This is fantastic. Now, it's still going to craft uh, 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 level level 25 tool. There you go. It didn't level up. Why would it? Our construction just leveled up, which is really, really good. As I was getting the rest of these uh, plant fibers, we finished the stone. We didn't really get a lot of extra resources. Well, we have 42 iron, actually, which is not bad. And we got some lumps and coal. So we actually can already... Oh, look at this. I can press A for recipes. And then... We can already make gunpowder. That is awesome. That is really, really awesome. Okay, so what do we need to do now is plant fiber cloth or cl clothes, not clothes. We got plant fiber gloves. We have to make, do we have to make the hat? No, good. We have to make the hood though. And oh yeah, I, don't, I can do keyboard now. I forgot about that. We can make the pants. We can make the shirt and the shoes. Excellent. Look, there's my character. She looks fit. She's like athletic. That's what I meant by fit. Athletic. Not what you think. <laughs> And look at that, excellent stuff. Oh, whoops. We got our plant fiber pants on. That hood looks real gangster, like Assassin's Creed style, big time. So let's see, actually, where's our crafting queue? Here we go, we have um, shoes and plant fiber, elect electrical. Oh, nice, we got electrical protection as well. So let's look at some of the defensive ability, radiation, fire, electrical, radiation. They now have radiated monsters, zombies in there that glow in the dark, how awesome is that? And they regenerate health. So if you fight them and you just don't kill them and you don't kill them off and you just leave it, they actually will regenerate health, which is absolutely insane. I don't know why I'm walking here. I don't know why I'm drawing to the water. I should really follow the gravel road actually up uh, to get to a main road. Now we have to craft a club uh, with 10 wood. We have a lot of wood, so let's craft a club. And we can actually favorite that as well. Oh, I love this. Favorite and crafting. This is fantastic. Okay, let's put that here. And we crafted a club, excellent stuff, it's also 25. And now we have to craft a wooden bow. We have everything we need, so let's craft a wooden bow. Now the new bow, the compound bow, is what they've added. And the compound bow uh, is stronger or is faster and stronger, I think, than the actual crossbow, which is fantastic. Oh man, I can't wait to actually have that in my hand. Like, oh man. Like not in, in, in spawning it in and doing the stream, but to actually get to the point where you can craft it. So let's make some arrows as well. There we go, arrows, excellent. Oh, I love this, hotkeys, it's absolutely fantastic. Okay, so let's charge this. Excellent stuff. Look at this. Beautiful. So we're going to go up to the top of the hill and have a look where we actually are. Where is the city? Now, I'm not going to go zero, zero straight away, but I'm actually pretty close. Holy balls. Why can't I not move the map? Oh, it's the right mouse. Okay, it used to be middle mouse? I don't know. Okay, a bit confused. Anyway, let me see here. If I go here... Oh, we actually are very... Wow. This is where the Hope City is. 
Whoa, we are fit. Oh, we are close, guys. We are close. I think this is where the Hope City is. Wow, look at that. So maybe if we get up there, we get a road down? That would be pretty cool. I mean, I don't know for the first night. I think in the moment my days are 120 minutes because I'm going to be doing a lot of talking. We're going to be a lot of looking around and we're going to be probably doing a lot of, uh, like, you know, grinding and all that, like to be really well prepared. But I can't wait to actually come across my first wolves. They should spawn in the forest as well. But wolves, you, you probably should avoid in the beginning. But, um, oh, there's no road. Oh, there's some clay over there. Excellent. Can I make a shovel, actually? In the moment, it just wants me to craft some um, ammo. Oh. Oh, okay, so yeah, I forgot to press all. There you go. Nice. Oh, we found some iron arrowheads already. That is sweet. So we have eight arrows, which are stronger. We're going to use this actually to get, uh, to upgrade our blunt weapon damage or something. I don't know if that's still a thing. Is that still a thing? The blunt, uh, the weapon damage. Blunt weapons. Yes, it's a thing. And it levels up as you hit grass. Look, grass. And we are here at just at the at the check mark. So let's hit a little bit more grass and let's see what happens. And now it wants us to make wood frames and place the wood frames as usual and upgrade the wood frames. Excellent stuff. So that's nothing new there. There we go. Look at that. Beautiful. Okay, so let's make some wood frames. Oh, wood fans, wood frames. I love the new icons. They look really, really nice. Okay, so let's how many we craft. One, two, three. Excellent. Look at the mountains. This looks beautiful. This is really, really gorgeous. I love this long this long distance rendering. I can't wait to see my first house or structure that is in the distance. Man, I can't wait. Come on, show me something interesting. It has to be a perfect seat. Is it oh the light is changing? Nice! Look at that. The, oh the colors! Wow, the sun is coming out now. Oh, look at this. There's buildings. Oh, this is amazing. The way they look from the distance is just absolutely fantastic. Oh, nice. And, and, and we're in it. Oh, there's a birdie. Don't like the birdie. No, no, no. <laughs> we already got a birdie. And luckily, he's by himself. I wonder if we can take him on. Okay, so let's let's put a bed here. Just in case. <laughs> there we go. Just put the bed here. And let's maybe make a chest and put some things in as a backup. We're gonna have to be smart about this because you can't die very easily. Look at this. There he's flying the little bugger. So let's put the chest. Oh look at that. It actually turns. That is awesome. No no no, I want it here. Good. Ooh, nice. Look at that. Oh, sweet. Let's pick up some yucca. How much yucca do we get? Still only one. Do we get more yucca from these guys as always? We should get in the end three yucca from them. Nice. That hasn't changed. Good, good, good. Okay, so let's put a little bit of backup in here just in case something happens. Let's put that in here. We can put all that jazz in here for now. That is absolutely great. Let's the land claim block. I don't really need it. Um, let's put this in here. Excellent. And now let's place down our wood frames. Nice. And upgrade them. Oh, we don't have enough wood. I put all the wood away, but let's get more wood. We need more wood anyway. I can hear our first zombie. This is going to be exciting. This is our very first encounter. I potentially think it's going to be either the vulture or the zombie. I'm not sure yet, but it's going to be the first encounter. I love the graphics. They look really, really sweet. There we go. Nice! And now, the last survival thing is place a campfire, craft a campfire. Well, that's no problem. We can do that, sir. We're going to have to... Cr oh, I actually was going to chest. I was going to chest and favorite. I don't know why I clicked this. I can use hotkeys now. Anyway, there we go. Craft. Sweet. And place it down. Lovely. We're going to put it right here on top. Look at that. Lovely jobly. Excellent stuff. And that's it. We got five skill points. White River Citizens Locate Trader. Where is he on the map? He's so close! Are you kidding me? We're so gonna go over there! Oh man, this is gonna be amazing. Okay, so let's actually drink this. 
I actually don't know my stats. Let me see. Oh, nice. Yeah, water is at 100%. But you know what? We still can do a... Just never press S by accident. And then S the favorite and craft. There's our first zombie, baby. Let's go and say hello. Oh, nice. Love that. Oh, yes. And then straight was the bow in the face. Yes. Oh, it's still the same. It's fantastic. I love it. I don't know if this gives us experience to uh, scrap these, but we're certainly going to do it. Oh. How many arrows do we have? 31. Oh! Holy balls! You mother of testicles! We're already bleeding and we're infectinated. Holy balls! There he is. Oh, he doesn't flinch! But he has to change direction. So he's gonna have to come in deep. Come on. I know I'm bleeding. There we go. Yes! Oh, where is he? Look at this baby! Now I need health. I need health. <laughs> wow! We got feathers from this guy. This is awesome. This is going to be my new favorite animal. I can't believe I'm already infectinated. Oh, man. Vultures, baby. Oh, I love it. What a sneak attack that was. I can't hear anything. Oh, man. I I, hope, I, I was hoping, like, hopefully there's not another one. So let's actually craft a, uh, straight away some bandages here. Balls. And bandana as well. No, no, bandages, bandages, definitely bandages. Holy balls. And recipes, cloth fragments, as always, takes two. So that hasn't really changed. But no, 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 no. That was... That gave me a heart attack. Is there another one? I want to get down to that town. Let's take this apart. Maybe we get a bone from him. Then we can make our first bone shift, which is going to be then our knife. No, we didn't get anything for it. Oh, man. Let's go down here. This is going to be exciting. Oh, jeez, I better check out the skies now. Holy balls. Okay. Look at this. Our first town. This is fantastic. Oh. I can hear footsies. There's a car we can loot. Ooh. Oh! Oh, Genie Mac, that sounded a lot closer. Look at you! They've also done... Uh, zombies are now specific to biomes, as far as I know, or areas. Um, oh, look at this guy. He is... Oh, yes! Our first exploding four-face! Okay. Check the... Oh, I can hear something. I can hear... Oh, this is... I'm gonna be paranoid for the rest of the... Okay, I can just give me a bone, okay? Just give me a bone. Something to work with here. Okay, let me do another stone axe. Thank you. So I still click. It's just for me, it's faster in the moment to click than to remember the hotkeys. <laughs> There we go. Okay, let's scrap that. Excellent stuff. And let's put this one. Ah, sweet. Give me a bone. Or maybe bones are not a thing anymore. Oh, there is. Yes. Recipes and bone chef. Lovely. Nice. Now we have our first knife, basically. Okay, so let's go up there to the car. And see if we can loot it. This car is broken. We don't get anything of that. I think they rebalanced car loot as well. Look at that, yes! So we nearly threw this car, so we got some scrap iron and some gas. And I like the way you actually can get through the car. You don't feel so weak anymore. So even though you can't speed level up your tools, the tools don't feel very weak, which is really nice. And I think there was another car here for looting. Yes! Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on by the balls. Unbelievable. We so have to be careful about this. I wonder if it's wise to even go down there actually on the first day. What do we get from a second level car? We get some cloth. Okay, that's it. So the only extra thing here we get in this cloth. Which is good because we can make some more bandages because I need them, I think. Um, let's actually see. Can we... Recipes, aloe vera seeds, aloe vera cream. If we have four, we can make aloe vera cream, which I think 
We can make proper bandages then? Yes, okay, let's do this. Let's actually pick a couple of those guys up. Ooh, bird's nest. <laughs> um, yeah, so I'm gonna make some proper bandages that actually heal us as well. Oh, look at that. We already got some bullets and everything, which I don't think we're gonna be able to use, but hey-ho, it doesn't really matter. And here we go. We got a little bit of extra yucca. Nice. Okay, that's only one because it was a small one. Oh, very lovely. I like the way you can just highlight it now and click S to get it all scrapped. We're going to go down there. This is going to be a thing. Yes, absolutely. I hope there's nothing crawling or flying. Anyway, guys. Woo! For the first episode, I'm leaving this here. This gave me a heart attack. Definitely a much better start than before. I'm really enjoying the start. You don't feel too weak because of your tools. We straight away got infectinated by something that came aerially through the air and uh, bit our foreface. And... Oh, man, this is exciting. I can't wait. Anyway, thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you do, remember to kick that like button in the balls. And I hope to see you guys in the next episode. And if you're new to the channel and you like what you see, hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you guys next time. Until then, as always, feel spaz and happy gaming. We should have enough now. Okay, so let me see here. Bandages, bandages. First eight bandages. First eight bandages. Why can I not craft it? Oh, aloe vera cream. Yeah, okay. So we should be able to make two nice favorite that shit unbelievable excellent stuff and then from that we should be able to make our first bandage i think it's unlocked it doesn't say that it's locked okay can we make our first bandage come on come on come on come on come on just do one just do one quickly just do one quickly here we go here we go here we go excellent okay and now first bandage yes we finally have a heal that is sweet this is beautiful okay so we can actually now uh, make more of these to heal up so oh this is great this is absolutely fantastic